Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Got something pretty cool to show you today. We're going to be taking a real quick look at Android 4.3 here on our Nexus 4. So there it is. This is indeed Android 4.3. Um, still calling it Jelly Bean. And it's not very different than 4.2. Um, you'll see there's a lot of similarities. It's basically uh, all under the hood performance tweaks. Um, it's very snappy, very fast. They've also improved on the uh, little bit of lag that was present on the Nexus 4. Very clean, minimalistic, not a lot going on. Two finger swipe down. Uh, these are the only toggles we have now. Uh, more should probably come out. You have to remember that this has not even been announced by Google yet. Um, this is a leak. You may have seen it on the Galaxy S4. Uh, this is pretty much the exact same build that's floating around for the S4. And uh, this one is brought to our device, the Nexus, by senior member over at XDA, G Mills. So big thanks to him for doing that. And he's also provided a routing method. When you first put this on, at least when I first put this on, it was not routed. Super user was installed, but the binaries were missing. I got an error and I tried titanium and titanium backup and it said that it wasn't rooted. So I found in the, th in the thread comments people talking about what they did and very simply downloaded this super user update file which I will put a link to down below and flash that and then fixed permissions inside twerp and that took care of it. Wiped cache and Dalvik and we're good to go now. Fully rooted, uh, tried titanium and it works no problem. There are a couple things um, in the Wi-Fi settings. There's a new setting for allowing apps to still access Google location even though your Wi-Fi might be turned off at the time. Uh, the other improvement is the camera has the new arch menu system here but everything seems to work no problem uh, also the Photosphere is a little different. Now you can do completely 360 degree view, uh, whereas before it left that little dark spot for the top and the bottom, but now you can do completely 360 degrees. So everything seems to be working. Uh, had some people talk about Bluetooth not working correctly, and I haven't checked that out yet, uh, but everything I have tried has worked. Google Play works no problem. Camera works, you saw. Um, it's good, looking good. So, if you're wanting to check this out, throw it on and play around with it. I'll put a link down below to where you can find this over on XDA. And while you're there, be sure to thank the uh, gentleman, G Mills, who uh, provided this for us. And also, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com, your complete source for all mobile device needs. This is Sam. I'll see you next time.